Hello everyone, Todd Shonen here with CFI Pro Courses. And once again, I'm bringing you information on the front line that's going to help you to be better successful as a CFI. And you're going to want to listen to this one because this is a game changer. Now, it's not going to be something that may affect you in regards of your preparation for the CFI check ride, but it is a massive change. And what I'm talking about is the brand new release of the updated Aviation Instructor's Handbook. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to the FAE's website and we're going to look at the new layout. Now, what does this mean to you? Well, when I said it's a game changer, if you remember, a few days ago I posted the ACS draft. Now, this is telling me that if I know how the FAA works, and I think I do, that this is an extremely good possibility that the ACS will go into effect in June. And you need to start getting your head wrapped around these new references that they have. For instance, you need to be familiar with that draft that I posted. So head back over to that video and watch that video, download that draft, and become as familiar as you can with the ACS layout. It's going to conjoin the private, the commercial, and the instructor ACS all together. So there will be a lot of things in that ACS where it wants you to go to the private ACS. It wants you to go to the commercial ACS uh, to pull information from that to enhance the instructor ACS. So let's head over to the FAA's website and let's look at the new 9 Bravo. Okay, folks, what we're looking at here is the new Aviation Instructor's Handbook. You can find this on the FAA's website at FAA.gov. They have a pretty much same content, but there is definitely new material and a new layout. And I want to go through this step by step so you can kind of see what the deal is. One of the first things that the FAA has done in this new page that they have here for the Aviation Instructor's Handbook, and they've, they've kind of brought all the material that they really need onto one page. For instance, sample lesson plans were usually contained on a separate page. Now they are here. However, they are still the absolute worst lesson plans. They're terrible lesson plans. Uh, this is, does not look like something that someone would actually draw out for themselves. Uh, as a brand new CFI. So if this is something that you'd like to use, you can. It just doesn't have a lot of originality and it looks like something that should be canned in some type of uh, uh, manufacturer's uh, lesson plans. So I don't really like these lesson plans. They're not for Todd. So I definitely would not ever copy someone's lesson plans or use someone's lesson plans. I like to make sure that I have my own flair on it, so I don't like these. They are still the same old broken material that the FAs always had. We do have a nice new shiny cover here. You can see that they are uh, really enhancing the 8083-9 Bravo. We have some updated material. They're still showing some antiquated uh, 1970s or 80s aircraft in there. I don't know why they don't bring something uh, new in there. Um, even on this old one over here, this is some old uh, R model or something, 172. But I just don't like the way that they lay out some of these things. It's uh, not really not really the best. They need to bring everything up to date and not show all this antiquated material on it. Let's look at the uh, acknowledgments. Uh, you don't need that. Uh, preface, don't worry about that. But look what they've done. In Chapter 1 on the previous book on the 9 Alpha, it was human behavior and effective communication, and they have completely topsy-turvy the chapters. Chapter 1 now is now risk management and single pilot resource management, but I'm going to tell you what I like about this. Reading over this, look at the layout. This digital layout is spectacular. It is no frills. There's not a lot of pictures. It is blunt force information. I mean, just right there in your face. Um, I, I still like the fact that they gave some of the stories. They still talk about, uh, Lenore here and, uh, and how they're doing things. And they get, they got, the, still got the stories and that's fine. But the rest of the chapter is literally like, here is the material. We have redefined the pictures. We don't have any of the pictures from the old textbook except a couple of them, but they've been heavily modified. 
and uh, in improved. And but this is really good information. I am very proud of the way that they've written uh, written this information, and the way that they have really just kind of made it where this is the information, and here's not a lot of a jump to kind of go along with it. So. I really do like this new risk management chapter. Does it have a lot of the information that the other one had? Yes, it does, but it is improved. And the improvements are just, they're, they're subtle, but there's so many subtle differences. It almost makes for a new chapter. So let's go back over here and look at some of these other chapters here. Now, human behavior and effective communication now broke into two separate chapters. I can't believe this. Chapter two of the previous one was actually the learning process. So the worst one, people hate to get that on their check rides. But human behavior now, a very complicated subject now turned into a very quick 18 pages. It's actually 17 pages. There's a little, uh, not a lot on the 18th page. But this is really great information. Uh, again, information from the last book, from the nine alpha. But this, the amount of subtle differences is incredibly high. And uh, they've just done a phenomenal job of putting this together in a nice digital read. And it's really, really good. I love the fact that they updated the photos. I love the fact that they made all these little subtle changes. And it's just a good read. So for those of you out there who are professional instructors and that you do do this for a living, I highly recommend that you read this. Uh, I'm up to around chapter six now. so. If it keeps going as the way I'm reading it, it should be a pretty much easy, easy read all the way through the book. Uh, but I'm very happy so far in what they've done. So a lot of new things. Um, when you are using this new technique, if it does mimic the ACS, just remember that each each one of these chapters I would probably make into a separate lesson plan. And to lay out the lesson plan, incredibly simple. Uh, I use the color coding for my lesson plans for FOIs. And this is what I'm telling you about. For every one of these red items is a main bullet point, And every one of the black, or excuse me, the red header is a main bullet point, And a black header is a sub bullet point. So I would have one that says, introduction and then I would have my next bullet point says definition of human behavior and then uh, my next bullet point uh, which would be a sub point would be underneath that would be instructor and learner relationship. I love the fact that the FAA stepped up to the plate and took the word student out and actually put the word learner in and they're very very focused on that and that is up to, uh, up to par with current uh, psychology standards so I really like this and it should be easy for you to lay your lesson plans out and if you are familiar with the information already, it shouldn't be that much of a deal going forward. So uh, please make sure that you do look at this. And if you have any information about or questions about the lesson plans, uh, just drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to interact with you. I do it uh, a lot every day uh, with people online who have questions about this. Uh, looking over to the learning process, we're just going to look at a couple of chapters here. I'll let you do the rest. But look at the flow. Look how clean it looks. It's amazing in this digital format how you have these blunt, uh, just these, these lines, boom, 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 done. And I think it gives the reader a lot better encouragement about holding a book in your hand and saying, I really need to read this book. If you look at it like this, I don't think it's as daunting as the other edition. Uh, so I'm very happy with what's going on here. And again, tons of subtle differences, lots of new artwork. It is a much better product. Let's go on. Uh, again, we could continue to click on each one of these. Don't really need to do that, uh, except for a couple things I want to point out. So it was nine chapters before. We now have 10 chapters. We've split up human behavior and effective communication into chapters two and two, four. Uh, we have broken down some of the assessment items. Instructor responsibilities and professionalism is still one ch uh, chapter, but they've added this. They put risk management and uh, SPRM at, at the front, and they put teaching practical risk management during flight instruction at the last part. And I really like that because they buckled this chapter nine and 10 together to say, this is the thing Here's kind of what you need to do in the ground portion or overall learning, but here's what it's going to be like in the aircraft. And I'm going to tell you, 
I just can't rave about this book enough. I'm very excited about. I've been waiting a long time about this, even since I saw the uh, the proposed for the change uh, months back, probably a year ago. Uh, and I was like, wow, I really need to put this on my calendar. And I I hunted for it. It was supposed to be out in November of last year. And I'm so glad that it's here because I'm a complete dork when it comes to this aviation stuff. Uh, the references here again have been improved. Lots of new references. So uh, if you compare this to the other uh, book, there are a ton of new references. And what I like to do, as I'm a complete aviation geek, is I like to go into these particular references. I like to search for them online. And then I have a binder that I actually have a computer folder as well. So, uh, But I do like paper. So I go ahead and I print off as much of these things because a lot of them are like small articles. Again, these are all references from the world of psychology. So a lot of these papers are very long and they're not interesting reads, but they have some great information in them. So this would be the way that if you were going to take your aviation instructor's handbook, learning, FOI knowledge to the next level, this is where you would do it. You would just simply start looking at some of these references and reading some of these references and some of the information that I've had over the years where people were like, how do you know about that? Well, because I went to the references and I read the article, the way, what it was written from, and I'm able to expand on that knowledge. And you can too. So I love this book in case you haven't heard me say that so far. Uh, developing a test bank. Again, this was something that was taken over from the last book, uh, but it was just not, it was just a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. They have done some great improvements in this one, and they've really kind of made it where it's easier for you design for you to design test with this. So I would highly recommend that you go through this. If you're getting ready to design a solo test or some type of assessment for your students, go through this and make sure that you absolutely positively follow every rule that's in here. And you can't go wrong. You're going to have a test or a quiz or assessment, whatever you want to call it, that is out of this world. See, here's literally a whole entire section on bylaws for designing true and false questions is remarkable. It's unbelievable. They did a fantastic job in this uh, in this book. Unbelievable. Yeah. See, there's actually something here called, uh, it's called STEMS. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know. What, I'm going to have to go and look and see what that is. So anyway, let's look and see what else they have. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I know y'all have other stuff to do. Uh, this is a new something new certificates, ratings, and endorsements. And uh, they did something like this in in the old book, but this is laid out much much better. You can see here that this is the endorsements. It's almost kind of like a AC6165 kind of thing, but not really. It just really goes into a little bit more detail and about the endorsements and the records and knowledge test, it just really does a great job of going through this information. And it's up to date. And I think that's what really is mat matters a lot because the old 9 Alpha was really out of date. So make sure you check this out as well. And then personal minimums checklist has just been redesigned, uh, glossary and index. But I'm telling you, you take my word for it. If they publish this book, I'm almost going to guarantee you that the ACS is going to be live in June. And hopefully with the information that I've given you already, you're going to be prepared. Folks, thanks again for joining me. I'm Todd Shelton for CFI Pro Courses. Bye-bye.